Hey, what's up? Peace. Whew. So today was my first day of volunteering at a hospital. And it was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. Like, yo, oh my goodness. Like, why was it amazing? Just, just the, just the, the emphasis, right? The emphasis of connecting with the patient is highly important. So important, you know, as a medical professional. I'm not a medical professional. I'm a pre-med student. But check it out. Just... You know, as a medical f professional, like, you want to emphasize so much just on connecting with the patient, putting the patient as e at ease, only with your words, you know. And, um, okay, of course, yeah, we, we know, we already know this. We know, okay, we want our doctors, our nurses, and our nurses to be able to communicate with our patients. Of course, we know this already. I didn't really see that much. Um, you know, the doctors, they were more so, you know, in their offices, um, the residents, you know, pre-med students doing, oh, what am I saying? Medical students doing their, maybe doing their clinical rotations. I don't know. I didn't communicate with any doctors. Um, they were very busy and you know, I don't blame them because they, they are busy. They're in the offices for a reason. Um, so they're not really going to be with the patients a lot, you know? Um, and it's funny cause you know, even though, yeah, we say that doctors, yes, they provide care for the patient. Like in the end, like do we really know what they do from a minute to minute basis like what kind of what 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 their knowledge basis is being used for in in what circumstances and things like that i don't you know which influences me more to to become a doctor you know so man it was just so amazing like oh. <laughs> um let, let me let me just take this time to go more in depth into the volunteering you know for anyone who's interested so you know um just you know I, I will i woke up at like six and the shift started at 9 a.m till till 1 8 till 1 p.m so it was like four hours it did not feel like four hours <laughs> it did not feel like four hours at all like time was it felt like two hours time was just going by quick i was just having so much fun just connecting with the patients you feel me um ooh, the the hospital that i'm volunteering at it's like number one for the number one trauma center in the city so you know high volume of patients um to the point where they're you know even a homeless person like if they're a homeless person needs care he will walk in there and he will receive his care a lot of medical per per personnel fueled by you know two med schools a lot of med students doing their clinical ro rotations and maybe even residency motivation on my part because you know i'm seeing Kristen with white coat walking by all the time motivation you know i'm gonna have that on one day can't wait you know uh with hard work um you know so you know i got i i got to the hospital suited up sanitized my hands put my badge on everything went to the floor i volunteered at the critical care unit on the immunology floor so what did i do introduce myself to the secretary um she introduced me to the tech, the tech, I don't know whether, I think it's surgical tech. She, she introduced me to the surgical tech. <laughs> and um, uh, this, the tech wanted me to refill the patient's cups with ice. Simple. So I went to each door, knocked, um, you know, sanitized, knocked, going, going to each patient's door, asked them, you know, hi, I'm a volunteer. You know, I'd like to refill your your cup with ice would you like me to do that you know yeah um but within that i got to j just communicate with them just see their their perspective and you're just communicating with them you know not just as they're someone who's sick but they they um they need somebody to communicate with um man you know and i'm just going in there passing ice around you know and two patients in particular uh one one patient man i was talking to him for like 10 minutes <laughs> you know, and I'm just supposed to be going in there refilling ice, <laughs> you know, um, and I'm not supposed to ask about their illness, but, you know, he went ahead and told me, amazing, you know, he was talking about his illness, he was talking about how much pain he was in, and, you know, and I, I basically, what I did was just try to influence him in a positive way, tell him, yes, you know, I'm trying to stay positive too, I encourage you to stay positive also, 
another patient, man, I was talking to another patient for like, you know, 10, 20 minutes. And uh, funny, because this particular patient, before I even stepped into the room, I asked the tech, um, is it okay I enter this room to provide the ice for this patient? And she said, you know, be careful. This patient is very angry. You know, he's been very angry. Um, just be careful when you speak to him. In my mind, I was like, oh, snap, you know, no, let me be careful. But also, I told her, you know, I have no problem with walking into this patient's room providing ice. So I did that. Um, introduced myself. Hey, I'm here. Do you want some ice? And, um, you know, he was like, yeah, sure, sure. You know, and I started talking to him like that. Amazing. We just connected like that. Just clicked. You know, he started talking about his wife. He started talking about his children. Um, he told me why he was angry. It, it was amazing. I'm not going to say why he was angry, but I went ahead and reported it to the nurse so that the nurse can take necessary action to provide the care for the patient. You know, he, he, he was very uncomfortable. He needed someone to change the positioning of himself on the bed because he was pretty large and he had like a brace on his leg. He couldn't really move that is easily. You know, he was cursing like crazy. I was just being patient, being patient and just listening to him, you know, important man, like just being able to, to volunteer especially for me i am not a person that gets sick a lot like the only sickness i recall having is um you know asthma when i was younger and that went away cuz um i was playing a lot of sports i was um you know playing a lot of soccer running a lot um like just seeing how all the medical professionals they come together to provide care for the patients the, the doctors and the nurses the nurses yo the nurses are on point yo like yo son like they there was like there were like 20 there were like 10 nurses on the floor just going from each room to room had you know assigned a number of patients set number of patients you know refilling meds providing modes of care for the patient just amazing like oh and they're mad busy like what 12 12 hour shifts eight hour shifts insane um i give them mad props you know in a way i set them on level with doctors even though i don't know fully you know the type of work that a doctor does i said for now i put them on the same level because they do a lot of work you know man uh, i don't i don't want to make this video too long um definitely don't want to do that um you know, I encourage anyone to comment. If you have any comments, don't be scared to comment. I will comment back. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid. Any questions, shoot me up. Hit me up. Um, I encourage any pre-med student to volunteer. You want to volunteer. You want to. Um, one of my friends said that, just to make this quick, one of my friends said that, man, on, uh, on, a, volu on a med school application, you have, you, could, you have like 15 slots to talk about volunteering and extracurriculars amazing so it's like whatever it takes to make you a better applicant you want to take that chance you know um you know i just encourage you guys stay positive keep studying you know even after this i'm about to go and study some more calculus and some spanish and just keep focused keep working um so yeah so i just encourage you guys just to stay positive just keep working focused and um you know and that's it so peace